Keeping it real, keeping it real. Keeping it real, keeping it real. Keeping it real with Reverend Laura. I think that resting and relaxing is one of the most critical things that we do in our lives. To get to that time, to get that time to disconnect from our he- hectic lives in a conscious, deliberate attempt to give ourselves some breathing space can often be one of the most important things we ever do. But it's also one of the things that we judge ourselves the most on. And certainly other people have a tendency to judge us about it too. You know, we should be doing this, we should be doing that, and we should be busy, and we should be earning, and we should be working, and we should be striving. We negate this opportunity to rest and relax so often in our lives because we are so tied into the hurriedness of the world. And in this fast-paced, hurry, hurry, hurry world that we live in, doing is praised much more than being. And I'm sure most of you have heard that phrase, you're a human being, not a human doing. But here we are doing. We are striving. We're working our fingers to the bones. And all of this is highly praised in our Western society. It's not praised in all societies. There are lots of cultures where, where the value of rest and relaxation and play is appreciated just as much as anything that we do to uh, work and strive and earn. But here in our Western culture, we often denigrate the idea of rest and play. It's not something we should be doing very often. We're hesitant to give ourselves the downtime that we need to reach that state of heaven within, that, that state of, of experiencing heaven through our consciousness. You know, one of my favorite authors, Brene Brown, writes, it takes courage to say yes to rest and play in a culture where exhaustion is seen as a status symbol. It takes courage. It takes courage to say yes to playing, to resting, to giving ourselves a break, because our society that we live in often values striving much more. We live in a society that values productivity over almost everything else. And I believe this is one of the biggest contributing factors to some of the health crises that we experience in this world, because we're not giving ourselves the time to physically rest and rejuvenate. Rest is needed for for our bodies completely needed for our bodies. It is a valuable aspect in determining the quality of our lives. And it is absolutely essential for our souls. Now, most of us have experienced the value of rest with our bodies. When our bodies get to that breaking point where we can't do anymore and we can do nothing else but rest. And then we feel better afterwards. Performance athletes know the value of rest. They will work hard and then rest because they have to allow their muscles time to rejuvenate for the cellular damage to be repaired and for the muscles to rebuild themselves. Rest helps us heal our bodies. It gives us time for that cellular regeneration. It gives us time to relax the tightness and the tenseness and and allow our bodies to be more in the flow. Rest helps us reduce our stress levels that we experience in our lives. In our high, high high-stress world that we are living in, we often experience stress because we are not simply taking the time to rest. Most, Most faith traditions advocate a period of time to be still, to rest, to quiet the mind. Time in the silence, short time, extended periods of silence, periods of sabbatical where we go away for many, many days at a time. Rest is essential for our inner and outer creativity. It's essential for us to be able to problem solve. Honestly, let's face it, our minds work a little bit better when we are not exhausted. And there's no question that we could all use a little more rest in our lives, and yet we resist it. As a society, we resist it. I think there's some of us, some among us that have learned the value of rest and schedule it into their time in a more concrete, proactive way. 
I'm still at the place where I have a tendency to uh, do it as a response to exhaustion, but I'm getting better with it. I do take my time in the morning to meditate and, and, and be still, but then I get wrapped up in my busyness and have a tendency to keep going until my body says that's enough. <laughs> so, you know, our frenzied Western culture tells us that we don't have time to waste, that we need to be catching up, that we need to be getting ahead that we need to do the most and to be the most. And for goodness sakes, never settle for anything but the best. We're always striving for more and more and more. More money, more success, more praise, more attention. And this never-ending quest to do more and have more drains us. But taking that time to rest and relax gives us an opportunity to rejuvenate our souls. Keeping it real with Reverend Laura